Um, I, just over a year ago now, we launched Kent Health, and that's something that I'm directing. Uh, I was asked to do it by the university a couple of years ago. This is the University of Kent. Um, and that was because we recognised that uh, we don't have a medical school in Kent and Medway. And in fact, in our university, we don't have a faculty of health. And so we needed really to present ourselves and get much more involved with the regional clinicians and present what we did in the University of Kent more coherently to the outside. So that was part of uh, what Kent Health strategy is, to bring together the University of Kent's resources and explain them externally and act as a, 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 a one-stop shop. Over the past year or so, though, it's grown and actually we've brought in the other universities now and we've got agreements with the Canterbury Christchurch and with the University of Greenwich to work with them as well so we can <coughs> act on behalf of the ATIs across Kent and Medway. We're also talking and, and got involved with the trusts and so on about developing a Kent and Medway uh, research strategy in terms of, uh, 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 of what we do both in the trusts in the, the uh, care homes and the integrated work we want to do together. So we're still at fairly early stages, but we are forming the network, getting together and doing things. So Kent Health is really a one-stop shop that you can use, as it were, if you want to access the, I suppose, practitioner academic interface. So by all means, use us. We are there. If, uh, I haven't got the contact details up there, but if you just Google Kent Health, as a single word with no space, you will come to us straight away. So uh, if you do want to know more about us, just Google Kent Health. You've got a choice between Kent Health at the University of Kent or one company in the States which goes under the name Kent Health. So that's not us, it's the other one. Um, but anyway, what we are trying to do is to continue to build this network. One of the developments you'll see in the future is in the Innovation and Health White Paper, there's a lot of talk about academic health science networks. So we are organised enough within Kent and Medway now. I don't think we'll have a network of our own, but we are going to decide what's the best or whether we go with both a Kent, Surrey and Sussex academic health science network. And uh, uh, we'll be having some meetings about that next month or whether we also integrate into the South London academic health science network because there's likely to be one there as well. Ideally, we want to deal with both. Uh, so that we get both, both, both. but uh, I know there's both disadvantages and advantages to either a Kent, Surrey and Sussex network or a South London network, and I'm happy to talk to people individually about that later. Um, but really, the main reason uh, that I've been asking is also to welcome you back for this afternoon, because this is where you need to do some work. And when I've been going around over the last couple of years and talked to either the HEIs in Kent and Medway, to the council, to the care homes or to the trusts, they all come, and, and, and I ask what are the strengths in terms of what we do in innovation and research in Kent and Medway, there's lots of things come back, but the one that always comes back from everyone is assistive technologies. So, you know, we have got a reputation, we have got enthusiastic people here. The only thing that worries me is, over these two years, I haven't seen it move forward that much in Kent and Medway. So I'm conscious that we might be losing the lead we had. And so really this afternoon, I want you to use this opportunity to say, well, right, given there's enthusiasm, and there is enthusiasm, because this has been a relatively short notice for this meeting, there were 75 people signed up, there's over 100 people here. So there are enthusiastic people. But on the other hand, I've seen many of you at these meetings before. How do we get the message out to those who are not coming to these meetings, the actual people who use it and so on? So that's something this afternoon. How do we get this mess? How do we get the implementation of what we've been talking about rather than the, the piloting and so on and so on?